Hey guys, we have a new format this week. Some of you asked me to explain more of what I was doing in the videos, so I've tried that on this one. Still, this is not a how-to or a step-by-step -step video. Uh, it's my first plywood boat, so uh, if you want to build a coat island skiff without any surprises, just follow Michael's plans, they're quite detailed. I couldn't do that due to building space limitations, so I have to do it my way at my own risk. But let's have a look at week three. I'm gonna try to epoxy the four side panels. Um, it's gonna be three coats, wet on wet. Um, might take me all day because I think it will take two to three hours between coats. three coats now. It has taken me five, six hours. All this time, real work, I've probably done two hours. Uh, it takes a long time between coats, to wait, waiting for the epoxy to get tacky before I can put another coat. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to count this as two hours or five hours. bother with an area where the shine logs will go to. Um, once I do the dry fit to the bottom, I will then draw a line and sand to the line and that should make for a good bond. Always double check on which face does the framing go. Because some bulkheads have um, the framing on the rear face and others on the front face. And depending on that, you will have to place the tape on one side of the reference line or the other. One more day, just coating panels. And the weather looks rubbish today. I'm gonna try and do all the six panels inside this little workshop. <laughs> yeah. panels I mix 180 grams of epoxy that's for this panel and this panel for the bigger side panels uh, 130 grams and for the smaller panels 120 there's enough epoxy there to wet the roller when you start on any case so I just pour the epoxy use the squeegee to um, spread it slightly then wet the roller and then I remove the excess uh, epoxy with the squeegee. Uh, then I will roll it again and in the end I'll just drag the roller like that without spinning over all of it and it seems to be working okay so far so if you think I've, this is not the best way of, or if you have a better idea or a better way of doing it just let me know. I use one per coat uh, if you work fast enough um, the epoxy here won't get that tacky before you do all the panels um, so you can use just one for the, the whole coat. Um, then I bin them. Uh, the cheap uh, next coat I'll use a new one. I don't I, I don't know how to reuse this on the next coat. Again, if you guys know how to do it, just share with everyone on the comments. And one more tangerine. spread the epoxy in the panel and I've taken out most of it. Now I'm gonna use the roller brand new. And now I'm gonna take the excess epoxy from there with the squishy.
second coat then. Uh, it took me about 45 minutes again. Um, epoxy quantities. For this coat, second coat, it took about 30, even 40% less in some panels. Um, so it doesn't soak anymore because it's got already one coating. Uh, most of the, the wood um, little holes and textures are covered by the first coat as well, so you can reduce it. While I wait, no, no more tangerines, I'm just going to watch some TV. All coated now, not my favorite job so far. <laughs> Too, too much time consuming and um, yeah, just plain boring. Right, I've forgotten all about those panels. Uh, a lot of coating still to do. Um, that means two days um, because it's three coats one day, and three coats um, the next on the other side. But I don't want to be waiting, uh, doing nothing between uh, coats. So I'm going to prepare some work. I'm going to prepare that for framing. There's some of the tiller uh, bits, maybe some other panels, uh, bulkhead one maybe, it's easy for framing as well. Um, yeah, I definitely don't want to be two days, just wait. as uh, framing on one side and side arms on the other and I only masked one side so now I need to sand it with 80 grit to get a better bond. Side of the decks. While that dries, gonna grab the bulkheads and gonna glue the frames. Bulkhead one. Double checking the dimensions before I frame it. Uh, this dimension is wrong, and that dimension is wrong too. Six centimeters more on the top, and almost one centimeter less at the bottom. So I don't know what happened there. It's fixable though. I'm not going to make a new one. I'm going to fix this one. There. And now with the right dimension. Here it's worse because it's actually short, but uh, it's only four millimeter one side and four millimeter on the other. So what I'm going to do, go in there and go to the right to where it should be. One, two, three, four. This bulkhead is framing on one side and the side arms on the other. So this little bit here will be in between wood, so it shouldn't matter. Bits making a new panel, that's for sure. I think I know what happened. 
here at the top I marked the width for bulkhead 3 which is just above on the drawing so I got mixed up um, as for down here I don't know maybe the beer <laughs> no I'm just kidding uh, I don't know I don't know what happened there um, I marked one centimeter less so I guess on the measuring tape when I went to the 0 0.6 I went 0.6, one centimeter bit. No problem, it's all solved. It's not serious, thank God. Could have had to make a new panel, that would suck. But just to put things into perspective. today I've worked eight hours I framed three bulkheads I had a huge surprise on that one <laughs> uh, three coats on the decks three coats on the stock started the tiller I sanded the transom and gave it an extra coat of epoxy it looks amazing really nice smooth and shiny uh, so I'm quite happy today and I'll keep going tomorrow Bulkhead 3 is the only one in which you can attach the side arms straight away. On Bulkhead 2 and 4, the side arms are only glued at a later stage, after the deck is fitted or the rear seats, only in case of uh, Bulkhead 4. So I'll save them for later. Bulkhead 3, I chose to bring this sidearm all the way down to the bottom of the boat. That means on Bulkhead 2 and 4, you should keep the same arrangement. Before I cut this piece, I have to take into account that there's a 6mm side bevel on Bulkhead 2, and that's gonna come all the way over to the sidearm once it's fitted after the decks. And that needs to be taken into account before I cut this part if I want to have any kind of joint that doesn't look like the Grand Canyon fingers crossed it will work probably would have been easier if I kept this piece to the side panels on bulkhead 3 but since it's not now I have to do the same and to be honest guys and this is just my opinion Save yourself a lot of work and on both heads 3, 2 and 4, make the bottom piece all the way to the side panels, uh, plus the offsets, I'm pretty sure it will be a lot easier. Yes, third coat finished, end of week three, final thoughts coming up. 
This has been a really long week. I've worked four and a half days, that's 36 hours. Um, I certainly underestimated how long it would take to give three coats on each side of these panels. Um, by the third or fourth day I realized I had to plan some work to do in between the coats while I waited for the epoxy to go tacky. Uh, and that went alright. Um, had some surprises like Bulkhead 4. But I'm quite happy with the progress and I think next week I might start doing the foils. And there's still two more panels to coat. The center case. Three coats, three coats. I tried to explain a bit more what I was doing as I went along. Uh, I hope you guys like that new format. I've got over one terabyte of footage just for this week. So let me know in the comments below if you like this week's video more or the previous one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Take care.